So TiVo Stream 4K, Chromecast with Google TV, and the very latest Nvidia Shield Pro. Now, all of these devices run Android TV and following a simple method, we can now use a virtual cursor or a virtual mouse on any of these devices. As you can see, they all have different remote controls, but using the very latest version of the mouse toggle, we can actually bind or map any of these buttons on these remote controls to start the virtual mouse. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm gonna start my demonstration on the TiVo Stream 4K, then I'll jump over to the Chromecast, and then finally my Nvidia Shield Pro. Now, regardless of your device, you only need to install one application, which is the virtual mouse. Now to start the process, if you just head over to your settings, let's click on that. Go down into device preferences, scroll down, and where it says security and restrictions, let's click on that. And where it says unknown sources, Let's click there and just make sure downloader is set to allowed. And this just means that you can download and install applications through downloader. And of course, step one is make sure you've installed downloader from the Play Store. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key and let's open downloader. Inside downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in this short code, which is just 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, let's click on that, scroll down and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can get the latest version of the mouse toggle on all of our Android TV devices. Let's open that up. Here we are, and we can see this is the latest March 2022 update. And the developer Veresh has done a fantastic job He's the one that actually coded the original application and further down he worked with Sween Wolf to add some extra features. Let's scroll down. And one of the biggest features with the latest version is you can now choose any button you like on your remote control and the application will automatically detect that button and allow you to set that as the virtual mouse. Here we can see some of the step-by-step -step instructions that we'll have to enable once we install the application. Keep scrolling down and we can now see we have two links. So you have the latest mouse toggle for Android TV version 1.0.6. And this is the one you want to use on any Android TV device. But if you are using the latest Nvidia Shield experience, get this version here. Now, quick disclaimer, this is a test version, a beta version. It does have a few issues, which I will demonstrate. But if you do want to get the mouse working on the latest Nvidia Shield experience, this is the only option you have if you don't want to use the phone app. Now on my device, because I'm doing this on the TV Stream 4K, I'm gonna click on the first one, scroll down, and you wanna click on this green download button. Let's click on that. We can now click on install. That's now all done. Let's now click on done. And let's now press the home key. Okay, let's now open the application. So if I go over here, click on the plus, and here is the new mouse toggle for Android TV. Let's click on that, and let's click on open. Now we can see straight away, we have a couple of things telling us in red that we don't have the accessibility permissions and we don't have the overlay service. Let's fix that now. So to fix the accessibility permissions, let's now press the home key. Let's go back into settings, go to device preferences. Let's go to the bottom of this list. Here we can see accessibility. Let's click on that. Now we can see under services, we now have the mouse toggle service. So if I click on that, let's click on enable, click on okay. Let's now go back to configuration and we can now see everything is green. Now I have seen in some cases where the overlay service is not green, which is the draw over permission. If you have that issue on your device, let's again press the home key, go back into settings, go into applications, go to special app access, and we can see we have display over other apps. Let's click on that, scroll down, and just make sure that the mouse toggle for Android TV is allowed. And this means that we now have permissions to draw over other applications because when the cursor appears, it needs to draw over the other apps. Once you've confirmed that, let's again press the home key. Let's open the application again. 
Everything is now in green, which means we are now ready to set a key for this virtual mouse. Now if I scroll down, now before we change these options, let's pick a key. Now we can see on this remote control, I have many keys I can pick. So just for a test, I'm gonna pick key number, uh, let's just do key number three. The way we do that, if I scroll down, and we have the option to detect a key. So if I click on that, this is now asking you press any key for three seconds that you want to use for the virtual mouse. So let's now press and hold the three key. So one, two, three. I can let go. It says, do you want to set key 10, which is the Android key mapping for button three. So let's click on yes. It says the boss key is now set to 10. I can now click on save. And now guys, what happens when I press and hold the three key? So ready, steady, go. We now have a virtual mouse working on our TiVo Stream 4K. We can see I can go left and right, up and down. I can also go to the left and it comes out from the right. So it really does make navigating so much easier on your applications. The ones that are designed for tablets or phones, you can now literally just whiz around the screen and click on the things that you want to. Now to disable the mouse, press and hold the hotkey again. And when it says D-pad mode, that means your virtual mouse is now disabled. Let's now go to home. And let me start an application where I would use the virtual mouse. Uh, let's go for this one. So here we are inside the Aurora store. If I bring up the virtual mouse, I press and hold the three key. Here it is. So I can move around. I can click on applications. Everything is working fine. Now, if I go back to home, Let's say for example, you want to scroll down. And the way you scroll is if you press the hotkey once, you can see it says at the bottom, scroll mode enabled. And what that means is now when I press up and down, so I can scroll to the left, scroll to the right. And if you wanna click on something, just press the hotkey once, it goes back into normal mode. And I can now click on MX player, for example. And that's working great. So we get full mouse functionality, we can move around, we can scroll on things, we can click on things, and that's all working fine. Let's now jump over to my Chromecast. So here we are on my Chromecast with Google TV. Again, I followed the same process to enable the installation from unknown sources. I've used Downloader, gone to my website, and downloaded this single application. Let's open that up. Again, we can see we have a few things in red. Let's now press the home key. Let's go to settings, go to system, at the top here we have accessibility. I can click on that, scroll down, and we can see we have the mouse toggle service. And let's turn that on, click on OK. Let's go to configuration, and we can see now everything is in green. Now as you can imagine guys, we don't have that many buttons on this device, and unfortunately you can't remap any of those media buttons like YouTube or Netflix. Now a button that you can map is the mute button, which is this one here. So if I scroll down, let's click on detect. I'm now going to press and hold the mute button. So press and hold, it's key code 164. I can click on yes, and let's change the mouse to something a bit different. Let's click on save, press the home key. Now to bring up the virtual mouse, let's hold the mute button. We can see I'm doing now. And there we are guys, we now have a fully working virtual mouse on the Chromecast with Google TV. I can move up and down. If I want to scroll, let's press the mute button once. I can now scroll down, scroll back up, scroll to the right. I can click on something and that's working absolutely fine. It's a very similar process on the Chromecast. Let's now finally jump over to the Nvidia Shield Pro. The Nvidia Shield, I've installed the custom version or the test version of the mouse toggle. Now, before I open it, I also have to enable TCP debugging. So. If I go to my device preferences, go to about, scroll down and where it says build number, you want to keep pressing the select button here seven times until it says you are a developer. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press back on the remote, scroll down and open up the developer options. Let's click on that. And if you keep scrolling down, just ensure that you've got network debugging enabled. Once you've done that, Let's now press the home key. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag mouse, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And let's now start the mouse toggle and everything is now green. 
Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm going to leave everything as default. Now for the boss key or for the activation key, I'm going to click on detect. I'm going to use the play button. So if I hold the play button down, that's key number 85. Let's let go. Let's click on yes. Let's now go to save. I can now press the home key. And here for example is an application that does need the mouse toggle. So if I now press and hold the play button, there's a virtual mouse. So I can move around. If I want to click on something, and let's click on my list. And this is where you see the prompt. So you won't see this on any other device other than the Nvidia Shield Pro. When you see this prompt, disable the virtual mouse, click on always allow, and click on allow again. We can see that's now gone over there. Bring up the virtual mouse again. If I now go to history, I can click on that. If I go to TV, I can click on that. Now the scrolling is where it's a little bit flaky because it's constantly sending ADB commands to simulate scrolling down. So here for example, if I switch to scrolling mode by pressing the play button once, once, we're now in scroll mode. So now I have to just tap down, so tap. So if you do it very, very slowly, you can see one tap and I actually got three scrolls. So one tap down. So yeah, I mean, it does work, but for example, if I tapped it twice, it does scroll quite a bit, so it's not 100%. And I'm hoping that Virish is going to come out with a newer version, or hopefully we're going to get another patch from NVIDIA, which will hopefully fix this mouse click issue or this mouse issue. But definitely in terms of navigating around, clicking on things, I can do that. That's working absolutely fine. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you were looking for the easiest way to get the virtual mouse working on any Android TV device. I do think, other than that slight issue with NVIDIA Shield, this really is the best way to do it. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.